This one comes from my buddy, my, my one of my best friends, literally one of my best friends here in, in Edmond, Oklahoma. Um, I talk to him all the time. We go to church together. He sits right in front of me, and you know, we, we've been friends for since college age, and that's a long time. Um, you know, so he and his wife are some of our longest and dearest friends. But and he, you know, he, he, by the way, he's probably listening to lunch with Dad right now because um, he listens to lunch with Dad. He talks to me about it every week. Um, here, Steve this is his name. Steve asked me this question. Hey, Dad, I'm afraid to ask a Disneyland question, but who else would I turn to? Mrs. Mom's friend, Steve's wife. <clears throat> Uh, decided on a whim that we would go to California in mid to late October for a getaway. It will center around Disneyland. Since you aren't writing a book about that location yet, he, that's his word, not mine, um, what is my best bet for getting information? Barnes & Noble had a lifeless photo book on the shelf. Do I buy Burn Bombs 2017 or wait until September and get the 2018 book? Other suggestions. Where should I dig for the best ticket prices? Uh, my last trip, we used AAA and got a good deal. Thanks, Dad. Uh, well, Steve, as you know, and we talk about this. We didn't talk about this specifically. You told me you were going to ask a question this week. so um, Good question. Um, I'm not nearly as up on Disneyland as I am on Disney World. Um, I spend all of my time thinking about Walt Disney World um, just because... There's so much to think about and talk about. I can't even keep up with that. Uh, so I don't spend a lot of time thinking about Disneyland. So, but that being said, I've got friends that do. Um, I reached out to our partners from Destinations to Travel and asked them to uh, uh, to see what they thought about this question. And I got an answer from Stephanie Walsh. And she says, uh, nothing better than an impromptu trip to uh, any dis Disney destination. One of our favorite parts of a vacation is planning, so I understand your desire to research your destination. I would su suggest you visit your local library and check out the 2017 Burn Bombs official guide until the 2018 -ish edition is available. At that time, you can purchase the latest up-to-date guide to mark, and, to mark in and dog the pages. Another resource that I found to be helpful is the Passporter Guide. They offer Disneyland as, as well as Walt Disney World and the Disney Cruise Line editions. I found this resource uh, gives a variety of perspectives on resorts, attractions, and dining experience and shows. Um, in regard to obtaining the best pricing, I suggest you use an authorized Disney vacation planner for your absolutely free uh, vacation planner. Uh, will work to uh, acquire the lowest rates for you and your family, as well as monitor your reservation for any future promotions uh, that your package qualifies for, and then apply them as available. Okay, Steve, old buddy, pal. There you go. That's uh, Stephanie's uh, recommendations. I would add to that that you look at touring plans. Um, touringplans.com and the unofficial guide to Disneyland. The unofficial guide and touring plans are the same. The same people. They they work together. Uh, touring plans has great information about the park. Uh, it will tell you how to set up your rides. Um, it will. It, it just over a, a bunch of great information. So I would add touring plans to that. I do like the official guides. Um, I'd go ahead and buy the 2017 version. There's not going to be that much difference. Since you're going in October and the, the new version doesn't come out till September, I'd buy the 2017 version and, and, and look at it. There's not a lot of difference. And what isn't in the official guide or the unofficial guide, I'd buy both of them. Um, what aren't in those, you'll see in Touring Plans on their page, on their website. The Touring Plans website is free if you want to get into their plans and uh, the crowd calendar is more than a month out. Uh, you, you do need to subscribe. Um, I, had, I, I had my subscription ended this week and I had to re, re up and I re up for three years. I, I use Touring Plans all the time. I use it to plan my trips. I, I use it um, uh, not every day, but Every week, for sure. Uh, so Touring Plans is a great resource. Um, so that's what I'd add. Um, I'll talk to you Sunday, Steve. We'll get this all straightened out. So Dad's bottom line is um, the official guide, the unofficial guide, Touring Plans, Passporter. Those are kind of the, the ones. And, and until Dad gets his book from 
Eh, I'm not going to write a Disneyland book, uh, I don't think. Um, so and that's where I would start. Anyway, talk to you Sunday, Steve.